Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Skiller vs. Skiller. So in today's episode, guys, I'm going to be playing a skiller called MRF Gaming. So he's a FIFA skiller, just like me. Um, most of his content on his channel is, you know, around the theme of FIFA and FIFA skilling. So he's one of my favourite YouTubers in the skilling community. So I will leave a link to his channel in the description below and also his Twitter and other social medias. So today, guys, I've got a few topics to talk about while you look at the gameplay in the background. And as well, it's sort of like a bit of a special episode today. Instead of showing one game, I'm going to sh be showing you guys two games just because there are two really amazing goals coming up. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is I just wanted to say thanks for all the support on my channel recently. It's been incredible. You know, the growth on my channel is, you know, amazing. I think I've managed to gain around 200 subscribers um, in the past few weeks. What you know is really good. And I'm hoping, you know, just to continue like this. And, you know, it really motivates me to make more videos. That's why this week I think there's probably going to be around four to five videos. Just because, because you know, um, when you see... is FIFA 18 and my channel so basically when FIFA 18 comes out you know I'm going to continue to make skiller videos you know like skiller versus skiller player reviews squad builders you know skill tutorials all these type of videos they will still be carrying on into FIFA 18 and you know I'm really excited to FIFA 18 to see um, what it's like for skilling because they've changed quite a lot of the game mechanics I've heard and um, you know I want to test out the new skill moves as well and I'll also bring, be bringing you guys you know some tutorials on the new skill moves and you know some combo tutorials for the new skill moves in FIFA 18 so I'm really excited about that and as well I will try and bring you bring you guys more squad builders because I think I've been lacking on them this year a bit I think I've only made probably about five or six squad builders so yeah I'm definitely going to try and make more skill squad builders um, especially around the start of FIFA 18 when you know you guys are looking for some nice cheap skill squads So the next thing I wanted to talk about was my second channel So I haven't actually created it yet But I'm thinking about making a second channel based around you know cinematic video and photography because You know another one of my interests as well as FIFA is you know camera work and like pho um, photography and also I'm very interested in graphic design so I was thinking of maybe making a second channel where I, you know, upload sort of videos. As you, th I think probably about two or three weeks ago, I uploaded about one um, sort of like, you know, cinematic video in the forest where I was like getting, you know, really cool shots of like trees and nature. So yeah, if you want to see like more videos like that, I was thinking about making a second channel. So tell me if you think it's a good idea to make a second channel or would you be happy seeing it uploaded on my main channel? The reason I don't really want to upload it onto my main channel is because, you know, I want to keep my channel FIFA themed and I don't want to, you know, upload different type of videos because I think, you know, um, it's not really good for my channel. So the second thing that I wanted to talk about was a graphic design. Now on Twitter, I've started doing some a graphic design for people. Um, I'm looking for more clients. So if you are interested in any graphic design, um, I will leave my Twitter in the description below. So go and hit me up in the DMs and I can talk to you about it. You know, I can do thumbnails, um, channel art, channel banners, you know, all these things for, you know, a pretty reasonable price and a pretty high quality. And then as well in September, I'm also starting a graphic design and photography course um, when I start college as well. So you can definitely, you know, expect my graphic design and photography skills to be improving very soon. So as you can see now, we're going into the second match here. As you can saw in the first episode, MRF Gaming scored a really nice long shot. I'm um, sorry, not long shot, a skill run with um, Fidel Martinez. I haven't really seen him being used this much this FIFA, um, but MRF said he seems to like him quite a lot. So maybe he could be one of those players I could try out and maybe even review. So getting into the second match here in the 28th minute here, MRF Gaming gets it there with Dembele. Does a nice ball or flick inside, runs inside, does a nice fake shot here to the um, JJ Okocha flick. And look at that for an insane goal. On his weaker foot there, even though he does have a five-star weak foot, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference. But, you know, that's one of the best Akotcha flicks, two long shots I have seen this year. And this year on FIFA, long shots are really hard to do. Um, but, you know, MRF Gaming there just perfected it. And it's a great shot. And, you know, one of the best goals I've probably conceded this FIFA. So the next goal, um, sorry, the next chance here, we get it with Douglas Costa. Do some decent skill moves here. Um, for some reason in this match, I seem to fail loads of running Waka Wackers. I think it might be something to do with... The connection because I think um, MRF Gaming is from America so you know the connection it was good but I think there was you know slight button delay what may have affected you know the amount of times I can you know um, do running Waka Waka. 
So the next chance here, we get it with Perez do some really nice skill moves there. Go for the blast flick, go for the shot, and it's a nice save there by his keeper. So the next chance here, this is actually pretty funny. Um, we're in the 4th or 5th minute here, as you can see MRF going on a really nice skill in there, does the advance Alasco chop to Rainbow Flick and then the referee decides to blow his whistle, um, so yeah that's pretty funny there, it was a really nice skill run and uh, yeah the referee just had to end it there. Um, going now into the second half, we get the ball here with Charisma doing some decent combos and again failing the skill move there and he manages to tackle it off me. Then we go for a chest flick here and it goes quite a long way over the bar. Next chance here again, MRF with Dembele doing some really nice skill moves. Um, he's actually a really, really good skiller and very underrated. So again, he goes for the fake Rabona there and we managed to get the ball away. And then in the 90th minute here, there wasn't really too many chances in the second match compared to the first match. If he was, if um, Al Sharari was on target there, it probably would have been a really nice goal. But anyway, guys, this has been the fourth episode of Skiller vs. Skiller. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.